Okay, as you hopefully know, I've made a bunch of videos about first magnetism and then charges in magnetic fields and the Lorentz force. And in this video, I'm going to go over an overview of the motor principle, just talk about it briefly and just show you a couple simple DC motors that I have, one that we make in class and one that I purchased. Okay, so what is a motor? A motor is the opposite of a generator. A motor is an electrical machine, an electrical device, which converts electric energy into mechanical energy. So we take a coil of wire, we run a current through it, we put that coil of wire in a magnetic field, and then the coil of wire will turn due to the Lorentz force. So a motor is an electrical machine which converts electric energy into mechanical energy, which is the opposite of a generator. A generator converts mechanical energy into electrical energy. You turn the coil mechanically for a generator, and it causes a current to flow. Well, the motor is the opposite. We put a current in there, in, in the coil, and then the coil will turn. All right, now this, as I said, all has to do with, which we've talked about in previous videos, which you can link to in the upper right-hand corner of this video, the Lorentz force. It all starts with a charge that is in, um, that is moving in a magnetic field. And we call the force that that charge will feel the Lorentz force. And we can calculate the force on a charge as the force is equal to the amount of charge, commonly an electron, so the charge of an electron, times the velocity of the charge. The charge has to be moving, and then it has to be times the magnetic field strength. Well, then we can take that charge and we can put it in a wire like that. And when we put a charge in a wire and it's moving, we call that current. So then we have the charges feel a force that are in that moving through that wire. But then there's a separate equation we can use to calculate the force on the actual wire, on the length of wire. And this is the equation we use for that. The force is equal to the current through the wire. The charges are moving, so it's the current through the wire times the length of the wire. It's the length that's actually in the magnetic field times the magnetic field strength. All right, so first we start with a charge, a moving charge. Then we put that charge in a wire. The charge feels a force. So therefore, the charges that are moving through the wire, they feel a force, so then we have the force on the whole wire. And then we can take that wire, and then we can turn it into a coil. This is a coil of wire. I can pass a current through that coil of wire, and then I have this wire and this wire, and they will feel a force as they're, and then I put that coil in the magnetic field, and then it will feel a force, and then that coil of wire will turn. We have a current flowing through the wire, a current flowing through the coil. The coil goes in a magnetic field, and then the coil will feel a force due to the current that's flowing through the coil and the magnetic field that it's in, and then that coil will turn like that, and you can have that as a simple DC motor. Now I'm going to show you a couple motors, one, like I said, we make in class, and a simple one that I purchased. And you can see how Okay, motor now I'm going to show you a simple DC motor that I made. This is my coil of wire. It's simply a coil of copper wire. And I'm going to place it into my two holders. I just made these two little holders with paper clips. And then I need two things. I need current. So I'm going to run my current. I have a power supply over here. I'm going to run my current through the coil of wire using these two alligator clips. And then I need my magnet. And this is the magnet I'm going to use, my horseshoe magnet. I'm put this on here like this. And hopefully when I turn this on, you can see it wants to spin like that. And that is a simple DC motor. Sometimes it falls out of its little holders here. So you can see it's spinning like that. That's a DC motor. I have a current passing through that coil of wire. I have the current with the coil of wire in that magnetic field, and then that coil will feel the force due to the Lorentz force, and that motor will turn. That is a very simple DC motor, but that is a motor converting electrical energy, which is the current, into mechanical energy. And there it goes, spins very nicely. All right, now I'm gonna try and show you one. Okay, now I'm gonna show you a simple DC motor that I purchased. I have this motor right here. It's a coil of wire, and I can plug it in to my power supply right here, like this. And when I plug it in, 
I can turn it on, but it's missing one thing. This motor does not come with a magnet, so I'm gonna have to attach my own magnet to it. I'm gonna turn the power supply on, and I put it on like this, and the motor spins just like that. Once again, I have a coil of wire with a current passing through it. I have a magnet, so I have my coil of wire with the current passing through it in that magnetic field, and then that coil will feel a force due to the Lorentz force as it converts electrical energy into mechanical energy. You can see if I turn the current up, it'll go faster. As I turn the current down, it'll go slower. And you can see if I take the magnet away, then it will stop. And if I bring the magnet, it'll go again. If I remove the magnet, it slows down as the magnetic field gets weaker, and then it gets stronger like that. And that, once again, is a simple DC motor. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you found the video helpful. If you did, please do all the following four things. Subscribe to my channel. Get all my excellent physics, chemistry, and math videos. Give me a thumbs up for this video. Leave me a nice positive comment in the comment section below. And don't forget, share this caring. Share this video with all of your friends. Show them just how much you care. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.